Hello, good afternoon or morning to anyone watching this video. My name is Juan. I am coming at you from Washington Heights in Uptown Manhattan. This is the third segment on the first episode of this series, Creative Visualization in Manhattan, in the Washington Heights neighborhood. We are looking at the third work in the series and it's a work that's installed on 159th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. Let me turn the camera so that we can take a look at our surroundings. This is how this particular point in New York looks like. It's not a very popular section when it comes to uh, visitor attractions, but as we saw in the videos yesterday, uh, the oldest mansion in Manhattan is just three blocks away from where I'm standing right now. We also saw a mural that visualized the drugs reality of this northern section of New York in a mural called Say No to Drugs. I apologize for the noise, but it's, uh, it's New York. There a lot of stimulation. This is looking south, 159th Street. And the work that we're here to see today is this here. This is Weaving Change Beyond the Shadows. A work of art that's been here since the year 2011 and wraps around two sides, of, in two of the sides of this building here on the corner. A five-story residential building. Is that five or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six floors. This is the offices of an organization called CLOTH. C-L-O-T-H. CLOTH. The Community League of the Heights, an organization that's been here since uh, the 1950s. 1952 is when the founder established it. Uh, this corner where we are is named after her, honors her. Lucille Bolger. She was the founder of the organization, the Community League of the Heights. It's an organization that provides services to people in the community, the type of services that are essential in order for an individual to manifest his full potential in this reality. It's a neighborhood of two realities, two realities that are, uh, that are at force with one another, head to head. And you see those two realities reflected in the form of color and shadows in this particular composition. The cloth that wraps around is a, a metaphor for the community and a metaphor for the organization as well. Um, just briefly looking over it, we see people kneading it uh, or putting it back together. Maybe some pieces were broken or a new piece is being added. We see that uh, figure happily working to make that happen to manifest that change, if you will. You see some figures building. A wall, this could be emblematic of uh, building this particular reality. And it's interesting because this adds to a very special double realism where you see these figures laying these bricks and the work itself is on top of a brick facade. You also pick it up here again. A very special double realism. We're going to look at it around, but uh, let's look at it at the beginning over here because what we see at the very beginning is a very special presentation. This needle with this thread wrapping around it and this thread manifesting and becoming the cloth itself. And we see uh, figures going through the eye of the needle. This is a biblical reference, a biblical grounding. Uh, in the book of Mark, chapter 10, uh, verse 25, it reads, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Although a community in disadvantage, although a community that is uh, financially uh, on the lower sides of the spectrum, there is this hope that the next reality which is being built right now as we speak, that we're working on, the American dream, is this, is this community and organizations like these 
so to provide for those services and to provide for those essentials so to have the full manifestation. And here we see it and then it begins to unfold and you begin to see the community reflected. these shadows in the background and the uh, figures in color as well some of them holding signs in this particular presentation so to demand for those changes to manifest and we see the in the foreground we see the younger ones for example we see this figure but look how this figure is kind of being pulled by this shadow figure that has yet to come uh, outside or go through this cloth and become color and have that light shine In different pieces, uh, different colors working together, just enjoying the time just as this reality is being built. But look over here, we see this figure, shadow figure, holding what appears to be a gun, the silhouette of a gun. And this, this is a very interesting presentation because the inspiration for this work, the artists uh, talk to victims of gun violence and uh, by talking to them is how she came out with this uh, arrangement how they came out with this arrangement of figures and these themes being presented because that's a reality that we need to work on this is uh, institutionalized in a, in a way in a very strong way and it's very difficult to live in the, that particular in that even dimension if you will this is what makes neighborhoods like Harlem and the northern sections of New in, of Manhattan and places in the Bronx not as quote unquote developed as uh, the other sections of the city there's a strong history of neglect and uh, many other issues as well housing for example in this neighborhood which this organization helps provide uh, helps organize they have developed buildings and made those spaces available to low income families and uh, to take care of the need for example the people who live in public housing in New York in general provided by the government is uh, going through deterioration four out of five people complained about heat problems this past winter and winter is still going and uh, lead paint contaminations and other ills too the essentials that are needed for people to keep working and flourishing in this system a reference to what the cloth is over there your hood our neighborhood which we work together so to bring it into this particular presentation and there's this uh, banner across this across the face of this other figure who has his hands uh, stretched up and holding the hood part of the of the work or where this uh, name appears a hood is something that covers you and when you're covered you are not really See, and if you, when you think of the hood, you usually think of these elements that you cannot see because they're directly behind what the work is. And usually it works against the work that is being done and that is visualized and idealized. But the, 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 we see this idea represented here, but the work is very real. So as I mentioned, uh, at the offices over here is where the systems are 
basically put together so to have this reach that can help manifest this reality we're talking about over 30,000 people who are affected by the work that is being done by the Community League of the Heights in the form of housing, education, child care and even nutrition as well the work continues but no longer do we see that duality that we saw that sort of uncontrolled duality with figures from the shadows pulling figures uh, already in color, already over the hood and also the figure with the gun here we see a shadow but we see the uh, direct affront to it stop stop the violence and the figure here with a spray with a spray can calling it building it We build this reality by working on these processes and by calling it out. And here we have a profound visual example of it. We're looking at this on video, but uh, to be here in front of these figures is to really directly pick up from uh, the lessons and from the ideas presented in uh, this composition. beautiful colors, very busy, a lot to see and you always pick up new de add new details like for example over here we see this figure holding off a, a piece that has broken off from the from the main uh, composition we see this figure over here the thread kind of has like it has broken off and this is a part of the community that has been broken off it could be someone in the community an organization in the community and you can pick up on the uh, intense emotion emitted by this figure holding this piece community is a very special thing the work concludes with this uh, heart shaped figure with two human hearts that are uh, mended together very interesting and very powerful a sense of completeness and you do pick up that sense of completeness of completion because you here you see the name of the work the credits uh, Ground Soul Community Mural Project this is the organization that made it possible uh, in collaboration with American Friends Service Committee and CLOTH, the Community League of the Heights the lead artists Crystal Clarity and Frank Parga and the children involved because that's another element children from the community help with the work itself uh, Tavina de la Rosa Dramis Lady Disla Travis here with Roach, Melissa, Pamela, Malika, Sarah, Adan, Miguel, Stephanie, and Angel. And more. But it kind of continues over here. Here at the top section, we can read the name of the organization. And uh, this section of the mural over here, we see are now young figures attending to it and putting it together. And we continue and finalize with this figure, also young, putting the pieces together. And ideally it would continue wrapping around the whole building, but uh, there's no access to that space. All right, in the, uh, a different cycle in the future, we could potentially come back to this very mural and uh, look at it from uh, look at the insights that have been presented in the form of comments, 
if you see anything in particular that catches your attention about the work or about the presentation, let it be known in the comment section. And uh, potentially in the future we'll come back at these, uh, to these on Facebook Live or using a live medium of video communication. To connect to that potential, like the Facebook page if you are on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and you can even subscribe via email if you log on to 5dguide.com forward slash connect or 5dguide.com and just there from the menu, the connect section. Weaving Change Beyond the Shadows. This is also one of the works that I present on my particular series of tours in Manhattan, specifically the Upper Manhattan Tour, where we look at the art of this neighborhood in, this part in a very special context. All right, I'm gonna leave you here. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye-bye.